Nimesikia mnauliza ile hasla fund iko namna gani? Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Eh, muko tayari? <laughs> hasla fund iko namna gani? Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Eh, muko tayari? <laughs> hasla fund ninaipangia vizuri. Tarehe moja Disemba. Eh? Tayari Hasla Fund tutaifanyia launch tarehe moja Disemba. Na saa ile mimi ninapanga vile mutapata hiyo pesa na nyinyi mujipange vile mutapokea hiyo pesa. Vile ya kupokea hiyo pesa ni ujipange na hasoli yako. Ujipange either kwa chama ama kwa sako ama kwa cooperative hiyo ni njia moja unaweza kujipanga pia kama mtu binafsi tunaelewana na utapata hazina pesa ya hazina ya hasla fund lakini si pesa ya bure kama kuna mtu hapa anafikiri atapata pesa ya bure <laughs> unasikia wewe <laughs> ati unangojea pesa ya serikali ya bure Aha, hii hakuna. Hii ni pesa ya kufanya biashara. Na tunafanya biashara na urudishe pesa. Tunaelewa? Tunaelewana? Ile tumekubaliana wale mashailok ambao walikuwa nasumbua nyinyi. Wanalipisha sijui interest ya 1000 per year. Sasa hiyo interest itakuwa chini ya 10% per year. Tunaelewana? Mutapata pesa lakini kila mtu atalipa kwa mpango. Sawa sawa. Na hakuna committee itatengenezwa. Mimi nasikia kuna watu wengine wanataka kutengeneza committee. Asababu wajipange. Oh, sio nini. Hakuna committee. Ni mnanielewa? Wewe panga ujipange na sikia. Juzi niliwaambia nili wale watu wanatuuzia pesa. Juzi niliwaambia hiyo mambo ya fuliza ni gharama ya. Wamepunguza by 50%. Wacha niangalie angalia kidogo. Nikiona bado maneno nitawaambia tena wapunguze. Mpaka tukubaliane. Si ndio? Na nimesema wale watu wote waliowekwa kwa blacklist. Eh? Ile watu wametoroka simu kwa sababu simu imekwama. Munipatie kama wiki mbili kila mtu simu yake itafunguliwa. Kwa sababu tumesema ile blacklisting iondolewe na watu wameniahidi ya kwamba watu milioni tano in the next 14 days watu milioni tano wataondolewa kwa blacklist kwa ile madeni wali, walikuwa nayo na utakuwa na nafasi sasa ya kujipanga ulipe mambo deni polepole bila ya kukatazwa kuendelea na biashara yako nyinyi mnanielewa lakini kila mtu lazima afanye nini afanye bidii nyinyi mnanielewa Hakuna kitu ya bure hii Kenya hakuna nothing. Kila mtu lazima ajipange. Na ukijaribu kuipa pesa yangu ya ya ya, ya serikali tutakutana na wewe. <laughs> Ala, bado mnafikiri iko mchezo hapa? Si tumesema kazi ni kazi? Ama tulisema namna gani? Si tulikubaliana kazi ni kazi? Eh, kila mtu ajipange. Na tumeambiwa na Pastor Joyce, si ndio? Ukibarikiwa unabariki mwingine. Na hiyo ndio tutafanya tukiwa tukiwa pamoja. So watu wa Kericho, mimi nimefurahi sana. Ndugu zangu wa kutoka sehemu zote, mimi nawashukuru e, sana. CBC e, tumesha tumeshatengeneza kamati ambayo inashughulika na mambo ya masomo ya watoto wetu. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba tutahakikisha ya kwamba elimu inapungua gharama sio kuongeza. Parents must be able even as we run the process of reform of our CBC we will make sure that education becomes affordable for parents not more expensive. And that is why there is already eh, kuna kamati ambayo tumetengeneza ambayo inashughulika na hiyo kazi itakuja kwenu kuwasikiza ndio mutoe maoni yenu ndio turekebishe watoto wetu 
waweze kupata masomo kwa hali na taratibu mzuri ndio Kenya iweze kwenda mbele the greatest investment we can make as a nation is investment in our young people and education is the beginning of that investment and we must make sure that it happens in an orderly in a way that benefits the majority and in an affordable manner to parents and to the nation kwa hivyo nawashukuru sana mumesikia mambo ya barabara tunapanga saa hizi bila ya kukwamua barabara nyingi zimekwama sio hapa kericho peke yake taifa lote so tuko na mpango ya vile ya kuzikwamua tunapanga vile tutatafuta innovative ways of raising more money so that we can deploy in our infrastructure and make sure that our nation becomes a prosperous nation asanteni sana kwa kunisikiza asanteni sana kwa kuja kwa maombi haya na watakia baraka ya Mungu na Mungu awabariki sana thank you